parents' perception has changed a lot. Uh, I remember when I uh, first started the workshop in July 2013, um, I called up my previous finance boss, and uh, he has three kids. And uh, I said, "Hey, you know, like they should come to this workshop to learn coding." And he told he his response was that. Why would I want my kids to learn coding? I just want them to learn Mandarin. So um, three years forward, um, you know, more and more parents have asked us about coding, and it's almost as important as Mandarin as the new language for for their kids. And uh, and you can see that not just the internationally minded parents, but also the local, um, you know, born and bred parents are starting to see that. There's a multitude of different triggers, and I think the uh, a couple of main ones, including uh, internationally uh, leader world leaders, have come on the stage to share this topic a lot. For example, in the U.S., um, you know, the previous president, like Obama, has been coming out to encourage the whole America to learn to code, and that's a very powerful message. Um, closer to home, like Singapore Prime Minister, come out to share his um, Sudoku code in Java, and so. So there's a huge push in like, top leadership all over the world to about this kind of change. Closer, uh, and the second trigger would be schools are starting to teach that, and parents are seeing that uh, it's worth more of their attention to bring to their kids. I think that's a great trend and almost an inevitable trend that. Uh, if you think about coding, uh, for, for us at First Code Academy, uh, we always believe that coding is the next world's language. Uh, it's a global language. Uh, it's allowed people to communicate their ideas, not just with each other, but with computers. And so when, when you think about it that way, it's almost, of course, it has to be a compulsory course for every kid to learn. And I think that's great and very much in line with what we built our company for, which is to empower more kids to learn coding. Yeah, so we've been paying a lot of attention to um, Asian countries like Japan, Korea, and you know, there's a lot of news about like governments coming to uh, introducing this topic to all schools in by 2018. And I think Hong Kong has always been very good at you know competing in the global arena, and uh, you know that's something that we expect to happen in the next three to five years. Thank you.